switching gears just a little bit, how would you suggest that uh, a CISO or a CIO tie what you said back to like communicating up to a board on this type of issue? So when I try to communicate back to the board, I try to keep some KPIs in place, right? So your key, key performance indicators and then matching key risk indicators. So for me, reporting back to the board, the CIO is going to look much better to the board if his risk is lower. Mm -hmm. their, uptime is, their uptime is high and their risk is reduced. Now, how do you prove your risk is reduced, right? You have to do that through KPIs and matching KRIs, you know, key risk indicators, folks. That is the best way to do that. Now, everyone's KRIs and KPIs are different. We all have the same, you know, how many vulnerabilities have we squashed this month? I mean, are we even looking for vulnerabilities first off? You know, are we getting better? What's our trend? You know, every, we know every month, you know, you're going to get a spike because your vulnerability scanner got an update and you're going to get a spike of new vulnerabilities you found. But yeah, overall, yeah. what's your trending look like overall? If yeah, your yeah. trending is going down, your board of directors is going to be much happier than if your trend is all over the place and you just can't seem to control it, right? Because now it looks like you're chaotic, right? Boards don't like chaos. They like simple and they like trending. Positive or neutral trending. <laughs> Positive is great. Neutral is good. Downward trends are a red line, clearly. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point.